Hello, and good morning. So, I found out something cool, actually. I uh, was, uh, was just hearing from Rakes that apparently some of these updates uh, that are coming in the next patch are um, basically... Well, I mean, obviously they're going to be side grades. That was already known, but apparently some of them are going to be kind of like opposite items. So, like with, um, with Hobrim over here, I had him set up with a sword and katana kind of thing with an idea for the sword being kind of his main fighting thing and then the katana being kind of a... Well, it's mostly a pushback and crit kind of weapon. It's just a follow-up. And, um... Well, apparently, the, uh... The uh, side grade to this kind of thing would just be... Like this with, uh, parry bonus, uh, instead of the TP loss thing. So it would be negative luck with a parry bonus. Which, um... At least that's what it sounded like. So that sounded really cool. Now, at any rate... Time to go, uh... Go handle this one. And I think that'll be the last part for... A little bit here until um it, it sounds like the update's coming relatively soon and i don't exactly want to pass over this tier before the side grades happen so uh we'll see how that goes at that point now if this is the fight i'm thinking of it's kind of risky going in with just griffins but um in fact i kind of want to go with the uh, three casters to be honest yeah that's what we're gonna do I'm going with uh, Wizard Squad here. <laughs> oh, this is gonna go fantastically. Nothing can go wrong at all. Also, let's lower the volume, because that crap is loud. Yeah, this is the one I thought it was. <laughs> oh yeah, Gildas is basically falling apart. Truth be told, like, he's actually at least going about it in a logical manner. Like, he's actually going through and trying to figure out the process here instead of like, I want to be so evil all the time. Like, he's legitimately trying to figure out how to, how to fix people. Granted, he's going around and attacking people with zombies, but whatever. <laughs> and, at least this time they actually tell you that he's going to go to the Palace of the Dead. Because he actually matters in this route. <laughs> and they actually explain the zombies, which is awesome. They're like, they want to spread their population. They're not mumbling, they're just speaking zombie Spanish or something. <laughs> Yes, yes. Then summoning happens, and it takes a while. Such as it goes. Now, let's see if I'm remembering this right, because I think it was just Gildas that had to go down, not Nebeth. Oh, no, wait, it's Nebeth. I think he leaves, and then you have to fight Gildas, though. Hmm, in that case, I kind of wanted the Griffins, didn't I? Alright, well, this is a terrible start in that case. Mm, get ahead and charge her up. Fast forward a slight bit here so that we're not spending forever on that. But what I'm going to try to do is get uh, at least Gildas down here, because he actually does just die if, uh, if he's killed off. <clears throat> Unlike the others, he doesn't need to be exercised. So I'm going to take care of these ones down here. Yeah. So you go over here. Let's have these guys spread out a tiny bit here. There we go. Felicia should be good for the rest of the fight now. So then just spread everybody out a tiny bit. Take them down. Some of them are killable, some are not. Actually, come to think of it, are these guys zombies? I think they might be zombies. Never mind. They're not very good, though, as I recall.
Also, she actually has her uh, axe skill now. So there's a point. Hmm. Also, it should occur to me that uh, Warren only has dark stuff. Well, bummer. So he's gonna be practically useless. Fantastic right off the bat. Alright, Werner here doesn't actually have any meditation on him, so... He's also gonna kinda suck. Huh. Man. This one is just begging for success right here. Okay. Um... Exor season. Yeah, no, that was a good spot. Actually, this spot's better. One stuns. Well, they're going away either way. There. So that's why I wanted to have those two as a team. Uh, basically, having uh, wind and uh, wind and earth piggybacking off each other. That's why I decided to keep him as he was, but. I don't know how well that's going to really work out here. Alright, so there's Gildas. As soon as he's gone, this should be easier. Ooh, wonderful. Stuff going kind of badly there. Alright, end him please, thank you. Basically, the more we pull back, the more he goes into this kind of general region, at which point I can have... I can have the music extend and snipe him and, you know, kind of just generally maneuver around a little bit easier. on these two. Fantastic. Way to suck. It'd be kind of cool if you could recruit Zombie Gildas. But you can't get a Necromancer up to this point, and I'm pretty sure even if you did, you can't actually hire him. Um... Everyone's just going to have to kind of deal, I think. In fact, why don't you... Mm, yeah, why don't you go over here? Ban. Okay. Well, I might as well aim for him at any rate. And there goes that guy. Well, this is awesome. Should have expected it, to be totally honest. Actually, not doing a terrible job, all things considered. Here, so these will just do zeros on him. Worth looking. Worth looking. Okay, 
Alright, so sniping options are gone. Ooh, um... So when he can, can he bring in Hydras? Alright, time for Heroics, I think. I'm just gonna take those hits because there's not really much good he can accomplish. As I said. Uh... Alright, screw it. She's gotta go up and help him out. goes, hopefully does something equally good. And hopefully the archers take over the job of being bait. We'll see. As long as Denim can get close and get one more stab off, then that's basically the win right there. Otherwise, if that plan backfires, this is basically the end of the run. Yep, rip Gildas. Not really sure what you expected to happen. So, kind of, eight is a dumb concept, though. Because then basically no choice ever made to really matters. And he does have a point there. And also another reason that people do challenge runs. Well, I mean, it, it does kind of bring... Well, a very good meal to maggots and all that, so there's... There's other side benefits. But in general, it's not ideal. Although, it allows stuff to go on, as it should. Okay, so as long as he doesn't get blocked now, we can make it. There we go. So now Felicia will hold everybody else down there. Uh, main caster is more than likely just dead now. now. I'm not sure there's anything I can do to save him. Um... He's got Tame, he could go for Taming that Dragon, but that's not going to be a great idea. It'd be kind of interesting to see what would happen if he did, but... It's only if it comes after him. Let's see if it's possible to save Warren, though. I think I have another rock. Actually, no, I have a few rocks, so... Olya should be able to help him out. Uh, the other two are going to take an injury, though. It's not a good way of doing this fight, but it's not what I was expecting. I brought them all along for the strict purpose of uh, sniping Gildas. Completely forgot that he actually uh, is not the, uh, the leader in this case. Oh, I guess we don't have to do all that. <laughs> Here's a birdie now! Fly like an eagle to house of day. Okay. Guess I gotta bring everyone else up to level 15 now, huh? Hmm. 
I mean, you might as well just give her some guards and go. I mean, somebody's friggin' homesick. Like, right over there, anyway. This is what I was talking about here. This is, like, the only other time that you see them talking to just randos wandering around the castle. It would just be cool to see more of them. Like I said, I think Kwell made better use of randos in general. I think they were just around in every scene when somebody would have logically had bodyguards and stuff, they had them with them. Oh, you have no idea how she did. She's an absolute moron in every path, and also will kill you eventually. But you know. And then plot happens. Well then, why'd you leave, idiot? Oh no! It's... Yeah. It's Steve's unfortunate underling that showed up. I mean, not really. I mean, technically speaking, I know the feeling, but that was pretty awesome. Oh dang, lightning! I mean, technically they could have just picked whoever and slapped them up there and... probably people would have, uh... Would have called it legit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And she never bothered reading it up to this point. <laughs> yeah, so... She basically learned to speak the local equivalent of Latin and... Well, doesn't even friggin' bother to read the, the stuff on her, uh... On her brother's necklaces. They just sort of happen to have the guy. And she goes to meet him. They're gonna be fine with the whole torture thing later. But alright, so that's that. Uh, yeah, if we go here... Got some new stuff. Not gonna be anything here, but if we go to people... Oh, she disappeared. Uh, they just sort of find out all this other stuff off-screen. And he became, uh, you know... Beef jerky, more or less. Do, 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 do. What's interesting is that... Okay, so the way they're describing that whole process is they're like, okay, they have zombies, but it can't bring the soul back or whatever. They're like, okay, in that case, it kept his mind around, kind of, sort of. But he was falling apart. The whole soul thing was around, but... Um, not free because reasons... I, guess, I don't know not exactly a plot hole, it's just more unaddressed. Also, this guy has some pretty sweet-looking armor. And... yeah. She looks like a friggin' valley girl, for real. <laughs> just like a, a look of, like, oh my god, what, what are you friggin' wearing? Kind of constant look on her face. I don't know what happened there. 
Also fearly, fiercely protective of her pet zombie. I'm trying to think of it, how old is he? Doesn't even know. Doesn't know cause it doesn't matter. And then there's this one, and stuff didn't go great for her. Um, and then there's this one. And yeah, that's... I guess they intentionally made all the facial features match along with the... just permanent stink face. And then this guy, and then he ran away, bravely ran away. And her, who will never be recruited, and now they're actually... Uh, I just noticed, what the hell is going on on the bottom end of that portrait there? Is that like... Some whole, like, Little Mermaid type situation. I don't know. Never really noticed. I mean, they always have this right here. For all the necromancers, they seem very, um... Front and center on the cleavage, but, uh... Yeah. Whatever. They're all... A rando bosses, anyway. So, that'll be that for now. I don't want to end up getting too far, because... A few bits from here, we'll be moving on to other tiers of stuff, and I want to make some use of the side grades. So hopefully that, um, hopefully that next thing's coming out pretty soon here. And uh, yeah, see you next time.